Ahoy hoy, this is Michaela from Team Retro, where we like retro games and we like the devices that bring them to us. So now that the Google Stadia service has completely shut down, I decided it was about time that I published this video on these cloud gaming controllers, because the sole purpose of these controllers is generally to access the cloud gaming service that they are meant for. However, what happens when these services eventually shut down like Stadia has just done? Well, I'm happy to report that Google actually released a Bluetooth support so that the Stadia controller can still work as a wireless Bluetooth controller. But that also got me thinking, what happens if Amazon decides to shut down their Luna service? What happens to that controller as well? Will that become e-waste? Or will you still be able to use this as a regular Bluetooth controller? And thankfully, the Luna controller does work as a regular Bluetooth controller. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up your Stadia controller to use it as a Bluetooth device. And then we're also going to take a look at Amazon Luna's controller and see if it's viable as just a regular controller without hooking it up to Amazon service at all. So let's dive in and let's get to work. So updating your Stadia controller is actually very easy. We just have to go to stadia.google.com slash controller and there's a whole big bunch of information on this site as far as what happens when you switch over from a Wi-Fi controller to a Bluetooth controller. One important thing to note is that this is a permanent change. And you can only switch this controller to a Bluetooth controller until December 1st, 2023. So if you're watching this video and it's 2024, you're probably out of luck. There's also a ton of other information on this page as far as how you pair your controller, what devices you can do this with. Unfortunately, you cannot use the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, but I would take a look at this website before you commit, just so that you know absolutely what's going to happen to the controller. And then once you're confident that you're ready to go ahead, we're going to plug our controller into the computer, and we're going to allow Chrome to verify it. Now, if you're anything like me and you haven't used your controller in a while, once you learned of the shutdown, you are going to possibly get this notification that says your controller needs to be charged. And it has to be charged to at least 10%. So go ahead and plug that in and then come on back and you should be able to continue with the next step. Then we're going to go ahead and unplug our controller and then plug it in while holding the select button, the button with the three dots there. And then once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and press the select Google Assistant A and Y buttons at the exact same time. So let's go ahead and do that. And we can click next step when we're done and it will verify and download the update. So let's go ahead and click allow Chrome to download. And you'll notice the controllers changed here. So we're going to go ahead and connect and it's going to go ahead and do its thing. Now let's go ahead and go to the final step and that's to install Bluetooth mode. So we're just going to go ahead and click allow Chrome to install. And you'll notice the name of the Stadia controller has changed again to USB composite device. So go ahead and click that and click install. And it'll probably take about a good two, maybe three, four minutes to install the update. Just leave the controller plugged in and you can walk away from it, use the bathroom, grab a quick drink. And when you come on back, you'll be good to go. Your Bluetooth update will be installed. Now, just keep in mind, now that this has happened, 
you won't be able to go back to using this as a Wi-Fi controller, but with Stadia shut down, that shouldn't be an issue anyway. So let's go ahead and give this a shot. Here I have my Steam Deck and my newly updated Stadia controller. So let's go into our Bluetooth settings and let's hold the Stadia and Y button to pair this controller. You can see it shows right up as Stadia and let's just go ahead and pair it and see what happens. And look at that, we're good to go. The Steam Deck recognizes the controller. We can now go through our options. We can go back to the home screen and we can use the Stadia button in order to access the Steam menu. The only thing is that these Chrome and screenshot buttons don't work. And within SteamOS, I didn't see a way to map them, but there might be a way to map those in the future. Really quick, let's just go ahead and hit the Steam button to see if we could get into the menu. And yeah, we're good to go. So let's fire up a game. We'll go into Emulation Station Desktop Edition. And I want to fire up a retro game for the Stadia controller because the D-pad placement on this controller is actually a very good spot for retro gaming. And let's go ahead and pull up some Super Nintendo here. I think we'll go into Super Mario World. That seems to be a pretty good game to test for input lag and all that. And I have to say that... This is pretty darn responsive. I actually really enjoyed retro gaming on the Steam Deck using the Stadia controller, and I'm really glad that Google decided to figure out a way to unlock that functionality. Now let's switch over to the Amazon Luna controller. Now this takes regular AA batteries, which seems kind of archaic to me, but I don't know. I guess Xbox still does it, so we might as well put these batteries in here. Maybe there is a battery pack for it. I'll have to research that further. But we're going to go ahead and turn this on, and you're going to see that I haven't set this up yet at all. This is the regular orange swirl that comes with using a Luna controller. But in order to switch this over to Bluetooth mode, we're going to hold the select button, which is represented by a circle here. And we're going to hold the B button. And you'll notice that orange circle just changes to a regular white blinking light. And right here on the Steam Deck, we see Luna gamepad and it pairs instantly. So now again, same as with the Stadia controller, we can navigate the menus and we can use the Luna button in order to access the Steam menu and we can go into other games and access our controller settings and all that from here. So we're going to jump into Final Fantasy XIV Online, still one of my favorite games right now. And let's just step out of town and find something to kill here. So far, everything looks really responsive. Actually, this controller feels darn good. I was really taken aback at how good this controller felt in my hands. Usually, Amazon is pretty notorious with their Kindles and stuff for putting out some cheap crap, but this controller feels premium, and it does feel really good. This may become my new Final Fantasy XIV controller. And so there you have it. There is still life for these controllers after these cloud services potentially shut down. And I felt it was important to just get this video out because I didn't want these Stadia controllers to end up becoming e-waste. I wanted people to know that they could actually be salvaged and reused. 
And those of you that are or were big fans of Stadia, at least you know that there is hope for the hardware that you were sent or that you purchased. So if you have the Stadia controller lying around or you are a Luna subscriber and you do use Amazon Luna on the regular, there are some secondary uses for these controllers and you'll be able to continue to use them even after these services that you are using either shut down or get too old. So don't throw them away. Continue to use them and continue to enjoy them for retro gaming and modern gaming alike. But that'll do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you have Google Stadia when it was available? Or do you have Amazon Luna? And what do you think of these controllers now that Stadia can be used as a Bluetooth controller and Luna's comes right out of the box. But that'll do it again for this video, and if this was helpful to you in any way, please be sure to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye for now, and don't stop believing.